Two Brewers, one of the finest Canadian single malt whiskeys available. And this is release 41, bottled at 43% ABV. The sample was sent to me by Catnap G. And uh, I don't believe I've had any of the Two Brewers releases in the 40s yet. I should actually uh, go and get some. But I haven't been able to do that for a while yet. Um, funds have been slow. Mo money has been slow lately. But it seems to be picking up. I hope it is for the summer. Because I just had a very good week at work. Uh, and the last few months have not been all that super. Anyways, um, yeah, I... I'm going to try this, even though I haven't had a chance to go get it yet. And this has parafilm or whatever this stuff is that's stuck to the top. That's making it hard to... There we go. I got the parafilm or whatever it's called off. And here we got a fresh glass. A full glass of water. And a spoon, but we might not need this this time. Oh, it's tight. No, no, it's not too bad. I got it open. And here we are. This is, I think, a 30 mil sample. Catnap recycles bottles I send him. <laughs> I sent him this bottle with something in it. I forget what it was. Oh, the label is still there. Maybe if I can peel his label off. I can get to my label that's underneath it. But it's it's stuck on there really good, so I'm just going to try and get the last out of it. I'm getting some wine cask or sherry from this far away. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Sweet wine cask. Or sherry. Sweet fruits. Sweet fruits. Maraschino cherry. Berries. It also leans towards peaches and nectarines. This smells good. It smells decadent. It smells luxurious. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Customary trails of droplets going down the side of the glass. No real legs to speak of. And uh, I must apologize for the buzzing or humming, if there is a buzzing or humming noise, because I have a fan going back there by the door to let the cool evening air into this hot apartment. I also have in the kitchen over yonder uh, an air conditioner in the window. So I'm getting air blowing in here. I'm getting air conditioning from the other side so hopefully the temperature in here will come down it was hot today when I woke up in, in the evening I woke up in a sweat going oh I didn't drink that much no I had a few drinks before going to bed uh, and the, the crowning one was the uh, paradigm cast strength and I was unable to finish the glass uh, the glass because um, that was a hiccup and I haven't had anything to drink in about well, what time is it now almost 11 so probably about 12 hours this does smell good very nice thank you Ketnap for putting this sample in a bottle for me I like I said, have not had any 
thing from two brewers in a while. I've not been able to go purchase it. I'm still paying for the um, summer spirit release from the liquor store, uh, the BC liquor stores. I think I have three, two or three left to go that I haven't tried yet. But I will do those mm, shortly. Maybe they will show up on the videos that preceded this one. Because when I do sa samples, I do four samples in one uh, session, and that will go for the next four weeks. And I might have one coming up this coming weekend, or this weekend. In case you're wondering, this is the 5th of July when I'm recording. Oh, this does smell good. Fruity, sweet, cherries, stone fruits like cherries and nectarines and peaches. And Am I getting some apricot? Maybe a hint of it. Oh, this is just smelling too good for me not to try it. Oh, here we go. Well, let me just cleanse my palate just a little bit first. the thing to do. Oh, that's lovely. I should try and rush out and get me a bottle of this. It, it smells great. That's what samples are about, too. Try a sample, and if you like it, well, then get the bottle. Now, hopefully the bottle will still be available um, at a retailer near me. I think Trenny and C were doing a two brewers um, thing actually today. I think there was, they were sent uh, bottles from two brewers to distribute among their you know, in their club or whatever it's called. I don't pay that close attention, but this does smell good, and if I can get a bottle of this, I will. And I haven't even tasted it yet. Here we go. Oh. It has that distinctive two brewers kind of sweet tang to it and the uh, the finish that they used oh still smells great on the nose if I have I will probably get a bottle of this but if, the, if I have any one criticism it's that it's a bit too sweet I would like that sweetness to be balanced with something like, or maybe something spicy. Or even something peated. Get that itchy nose. Oh. There is a touch, just a touch, of bitterness on the finish, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's like taking one of those stone fruits and cracking the stone open to get to the seed inside, and the seed inside is a little bit bitter. Yeah, that's what this is like.
despite it being a little bit sweet for my taste, this is a wonderful whiskey. But you know, on um, sips after the first one, the sweetness isn't hitting me as hard as it did on the initial sip. And now I'm getting a maltiness, a maltiness on mid palate, surrounded by that sweetness. And then towards the very finish, a bit of a bitterness is coming out on the tip of the tongue, which is not unwelcome. It, it contrasts against the sweetness. And it's just like I said before, like that, that, that uh, nut inside the stone. Um, it's just like that. It's a little bit, a little bit bitter. So the, the sweetness sort of morphs towards bitterness on the finish, which I'm not complaining about. It's actually nice. It's very nice. Two Brewers, release number 41. I usually like Two Brewers releases. And uh, I will have to try more of these innovative ones for special finishes. They, they have the innovative ones and they have the special finishes. And this is a special finish. Cheers. Food quick. 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 Food quick.